Hey, what's going on people? I hope you guys are doing good. Today we're gonna to be talking about the OnePlus 10 Pro and going over 10 camera tips and tricks. We're in downtown Winter Garden. This is my home city. So let's go ahead and see what this camera can do. So the first thing I want to talk about is AI scene detection as well as the high resolution setting inside the regular photo mode. So let's do that. So AI scene enhancement basically analyzes whatever you're taking a picture of and then it adjusts the white balance, the colors, the sharpness in order to suit your subject the best. So by default, mine was toggled off. If you want to toggle it on, go under photo or um, even video has it, which we'll talk about later. And then up at the top, you have AI, just toggle that on. And now AI scene enhancement is turned on. Now, if I point it at this tree right here, you can see green plants. And then if I come over here and point it at the building, it's going to tell me that it's taking a picture of buildings. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture. Now I'm gonna to toggle off AI scene enhancement and then take another picture. And then I'll come back over here to the plants. I'll toggle it on and let it analyze the picture real quick. So there we go, green plants. I'll take a picture. Now I'll toggle off AI scene enhancement and take another picture. And you can see a side by side here of what it exactly does. It's not a huge difference, but there is a subtle difference. And I think it does make a pretty big difference depending on the scenario you're in, especially in low light. That's where AI scene enhancement is really going to shine. So here's a couple examples of that. To go along with AI scene enhancement, there's also a high resolution mode. And this gives you the ability to take advantage of the full 48 or 50 megapixels of the wide and ultra wide. Let me show you how to turn it on and what you can do. So if you wanna take advantage of all the megapixels of the wide and ultra wide, right next to AI scene enhancement, you have a little symbol that says high. Just toggle that on and boom, now you're in high resolution mode. You can see you have 48 megapixels for the standard wide. And then if you switch to the ultra wide, you have 50 megapixels. And this does work in conjunction with AI scene enhancement, which is really cool. So here's a couple examples of high resolution mode versus normal mode. And you can see you can really do a lot of cropping on the ultra wide and the wide when it comes to high resolution. Just keep in mind during the day, this is perfect, but at night you're gonna get more noise and artifacts because it's not using pixel binning or any compression or anything like that. So that's just something to be aware of. The benefit to the high resolution mode is that it allows you to do a lot of cropping, which is great for social media. So that way you can reframe your shots and get the composition that you are going for. The next thing I wanna talk about is how to get better compression for your photos using the HEIF format and how to enable 10-bit color. That way you can manipulate your colors a little bit more in post and get more depth to your photos. Let me show you. So if you want to enable HEIF, you're gonna go into your settings. So tap on the three little dots in the top right then tap on the settings cogwheel, scroll down until you get to HEIF and then toggle that on. Now, if you want to enable 10-bit color to get more color depth and detail and richer colors, you can enable 10-bit color, toggle that on. And then you can see it says take 10-bit photos in the photo and night modes using the rear cameras. Photos will be saved in the HEIF format. So it's automatically gonna save them in the HEIF format. But if you're looking to you know, get the HEIF format for your front facing camera, you're gonna have to toggle on the HEIF setting on its own. But that's how you can save some space on your phone as well as get better compression and just overall be able to push your photos a little bit further when editing them. So there's actually like a mural behind me. So I'm gonna go ahead and step out and take a quick picture to show you the difference between 10-bit and regular, as well as the file size difference between HEIF and regular JPEG. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick shot. All right, so that was with 10-bit and HEIF enabled. I'm gonna go ahead and disable it and boom. All right, so let me show you the difference. So here's the 10-bit photo and inside of the gallery, you can see it says 10-bit to let you know, and this is the JPEG. If I pull up the details of the image, you can see the regular JPEG is 6.3 megabytes. And if I go over to the 10-bit photo, which mind you does have more color information, it's only 5.3 megabytes. So that's an example of HEIF as well as 10-bit because it's not only giving you better compression, but it's giving you a richer looking image. The difference is not super noticeable, but once you start editing the shot and really like manipulating the colors, 
you're gonna see a pretty big difference. The OnePlus 10 Pro has a really good portrait mode, but you can also take portrait pictures using the AI scene enhancement feature. Just point your phone at your subject, and as long as it's a human being, you'll see portrait pop up. But you might notice some weird distortion issues when taking a portrait picture. You can eliminate that by enabling this setting. Let me show you. In the rare case that you notice weird distortion around your portrait shot, and keep in mind, this is not portrait mode. This is using the regular photo mode and the AI scene enhancement feature. If you notice distortion, go into your settings, go under your main settings, and then enable portrait distortion correction. And this will smooth out the edges, making them a little bit sharper and remove any distortion. Like I said, this is a pretty rare occurrence and personally, I haven't had it happen to me, but if it happens to you, that's how you can fix it. So the OnePlus 10 Pro has a really good pro mode. In fact, OnePlus worked in partnership with Hasselblad to bring over some of Hasselblad's color science to the pro mode, which is really cool. And there's also a new feature called Raw Plus. So let's talk about that now. So let's go ahead and dive into the pro mode. And you can see like a camera with a little H in it and it says pro. The H means that they work together with Hasselblad to make this pro mode, which is really cool. So you have all your manual options down here on the bottom for ISO, shutter speed, EV or exposure compensation, focus, white balance, and then you have a little arrow that's in the shape of a circle to reset your settings if you want to. You can use pro mode on your standard wide angle as well as your two times telephoto. Um, I believe this is a digital two times telephoto. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. But what's weird is if you go up to the top, there's like a little tree. If you tap on that tree symbol, now you can switch to the wide angle as well as the standard um, wide and then your telephoto. So it's really weird how, um, how this is set up. I'm kind of confused by it, but nonetheless, if you want to use your ultra wide with pro mode, that's how you can do it. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the standard. Next to that, we have our histogram, which is a really nice looking histogram. I like that. And then next to that, we have our focus peaking. So if you're using manual focus, you can see the focus peaking is in red and it works really well. So like I said, the pro mode on this is really nice and I appreciate it. To get more out of your pro mode, you can tap on the three little dots and then at the top you have format. By default, JPEG is enabled, but you can do raw or raw plus. So here's an example of a raw image versus a raw plus image. And you can see the raw plus image looks like it's been color corrected already. So you have all that information there. It's basically using computational photography and then taking that AI and processing that with the raw image, giving you more to work with. I really appreciate it. Here's a couple more examples of raw versus raw plus. Let me know what you think of raw plus in the comment section down below. But that's how you can switch from JPEG raw to raw plus when using the pro mode on the OnePlus 10 Pro. So it just hit me. I really didn't do a good explanation of RAW plus versus RAW. If you're not familiar with RAW, let me educate you a little bit. A RAW image is an unedited, uncorrected, and ungraded image. It doesn't look very good straight out of the camera, but you can make a RAW image look like a RAW plus image if you know what you're doing. A RAW plus image is basically a corrected version of RAW, so that way it gives you a good foundation and starting point to apply a grade or look to your photo. So that way the only thing you have to worry about is pushing around the colors to get a look like as if you were applying a filter. And you're gonna be able to push those colors just as much as you can a raw image, but it's giving you a better starting point. Hopefully that helps. Speaking of the Hasselblad and OnePlus partnership, they've actually added an X-Pen camera mode. And this is a throwback to Hasselblad's X-Pen film camera. And it's really cool what they're able to do. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the X-Pen mode under more. Go ahead and tap on X-Pan. And you can see right off the bat, the interface is very vintage. It looks like you were looking through an older film camera like viewfinder. Up in the top right, we have our film settings. So we have a black and white mode, and then we have a color mode, and each of them process differently. Over here on the left, we have our exposure compensation. So you can make the image darker by going to a negative compensation or brighter by going to a positive compensation. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick shot in black and white. And you can see it processes it just like film. Now I'm gonna do that same photo in color and you can see it processes even differently versus the black and white image. And here's some examples of these two photos that I just took. So this is the colored one and this is the black and white one. What's really cool is if you want a more unique look to your X-Pan shots, you can easily do this with one click. Let me show you. 
So if you wanna do like a one click edit for your X-Pan shots, just go into your gallery, locate your X-Pan shot, tap on edit, go under adjust and literally just tap auto. It's worked every time for me and it really accentuates the colors and just does a great job at giving you like a vintage, unique look to your shot. Here's an example of an X-Pan shot before auto and here's one after auto of my wife. And you can see it really adds that vintage cinematic vibe to it. The OnePlus 10 Pro has a great ultra wide camera, but if you want an even wider field of view, you can use the 150 degree lens mode, which is fantastic. Let me show you. So what you're gonna do is go into more, then go under 150 degree. And then instead of using the fisheye effect, which kind of looks a little weird, like I don't really like this, use the other mode and it gives you a much wider field of view. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this shot and you can see the trees are distorted, but it adds like a really cool effect. Now I'm gonna go back to the main camera and then switch to the ultra wide and take a look at these two photos and you can see what I mean by getting a wider perspective. I really like that. The OnePlus 10 Pro has an AI video mode. It's called AI Highlight Video and it works really well. It gives you better dynamic range and it has low light video or nighttime video mode. Let me show you how to turn it on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go under the video mode and then up at the top you have the AI symbol. Just toggle that on and now you are in AI highlight video. And you can see live HDR has already worked. So I'm gonna go ahead and record this clip. Record it for you a few seconds. We'll do five seconds and I'm gonna stop it. Now I'm gonna toggle AI off, record. And this will give you a comparison between AI highlight video versus just regular video. And there should be more dynamic range in AI highlight video. There are some limitations. For instance, you can only record in 1080p. So if you're looking for high resolution video like 4K, you are limited and you can't use AI highlight video. But other than that, it's great. The OnePlus 10 Pro has great video stabilization, but if you wanna go one step further with like ultra steady stabilization, you can do that. Let me show you how to turn it on. And it works not just for the rear camera, but also the front facing camera, which is really cool. Let me show you. Once again, we're inside the regular video mode and right up here at the top, we have AI highlight video, but next to that, there's like a camera with some squiggly lines. Just tap on that. And now ultra steady stabilization is turned on. You are limited to 1080p 60 frames per second, but let me give you an example of what this looks like because it's really good. This is an example of ultra steady video on the OnePlus 10 Pro. So now I have ultra steady video turned on for the front facing camera. This is something new, I've never tried this before, so let's see how good this turns out. The rear facing ultra steady video looked really good, but the front facing, maybe not so much, but also that was a really extreme test. I'm sure if you're just doing like a walking shot and you're just talking to the camera, it's gonna work perfectly fine. So I like it. I think that's pretty cool. Ultra steady video on both the front and the back. I'm a fan. The OnePlus 10 Pro is one of the few smartphones on the market that can shoot high resolution, high frame rate video. This can shoot 4K 120 frames per second and it looks really good. Let me show you how to enable it as well as a few examples between 4K 30, 60 and 120p. If you want to enable 4K 120 frames per second, you cannot use it with AI highlight video. So you need to go ahead and toggle that off or just come up here and tap on where it says 1080p, switch to 4K, then tap on the three little dots in the top right. Up here you have your frame rates, 30 frames per second is enabled by default, but then just tap on 120 frames per second and boom, now you are in 4K 120. Let's go ahead and take a few samples and I'll show you the difference between the 4K 30, 60 and 120. So the OnePlus 10 Pro has a great pro photo mode, but what about video? Well, they have a movie mode that kind of works like pro video mode, but it's a little bit different. It has some limitations, but it's still really cool. Let me show you how to use it. If you want to use movie mode, you're going to go under more and then select movie. 
And like I said, this is basically a pro video mode, but it does have some limitations. For instance, you can't adjust your frame rate and you can't adjust your resolution, at least not to my knowledge. I've looked everywhere and I can't find it. It's recording in 4K or a cinematic aspect ratio of 4K. And I believe the frame rate is like 24 or 30 frames per second, but you can adjust your lenses here. So you can use the ultra wide, you can use the standard and you can use the telephoto, which is nice. You have all your manual controls down here. So you have your ISO, your shutter speed, your exposure compensation, your focus, and you have your white balance settings. Up at the top, we have HDR video, which is HLG more or less. And you also have log for even more dynamic range and a flatter look. And then we have stabilization, which does crop in. As you can see, when I turned off stabilization, it's much wider. And if I turn it on, it's definitely more cropped in. But like I said, it's basically a pro video mode. And if you're okay with those limitations, you're gonna love this. You can also clear up the viewfinder by tapping on the arrows in the bottom left. And you can see it clears up the menu up here at the top. But like I said, it's fun, it's cool. And you can get some really nice looking video using the manual controls. So the next thing I wanna talk about is eraser in mosaic. It's a cool way of removing or blurring out objects in a photo. For instance, if I wanna remove those high ass gas prices, cause they are just too damn high, I can do that. So I have a photo pulled up right here of the gas prices. I took them just a minute ago. Now I'm going to tap on edit in the gallery or the editor, then swipe all the way over until I get to eraser, then zoom in and just draw around those crazy gas prices and boom. Now that price is gone. I can tap on the check mark, save the photo. Now I can scroll over and tap on text and then I can just add my own gas price in. So we'll select white font and we'll tap on to edit the text. We'll make it $1.99 because that's just much better. And we'll drag that and put that right there and boom. Now we have a much better gas price. So that's how you can remove something from a photo. Now let me show you Mosaic. Mosaic is really cool for blurring out a specific part in your photo. For instance, I have a picture of this Porsche right here. And let's say I wanted to share that on social media, but I didn't want to showcase the license plate number. I can easily just go into the editor by tapping on edit, swiping over, then tapping on Mosaic, select the one that I want. Pixel is probably gonna be the best for blurring out something, or you can actually select blur, but we're gonna go with Pixel. We'll zoom in. You can adjust how big the dot or the, the writing mechanism is or the point, and then just color in the license plate. And it will literally like censor it or blur it out. So now when I zoom out, you can see the license plate has been completely distorted so you can't make it out. It's a great way of sharing your car or a friend's car on social media without anybody seeing the license plate number like I just showed you. Or if you wanna blur out a face, you could do that as well. The OnePlus 10 Pro has a really good night mode and there's a couple things that I wanna show you, but to do that, we need the sun to go down. So with the power of video, let's make that happen and talk to Nighttime Jonathan. Nighttime Jonathan here. And now that the sun is down, let's go ahead and talk about the OnePlus 10 Pro night mode because there's a few really cool features. So when it comes to the night mode on the OnePlus 10 Pro, there's a couple ways to access it. First of all, you could stay within the regular photo mode and then up here at the top, as long as you have AI scene enhancement turned on, you'll see night pop up. You can see it pop up right there. So if I take a shot, you can see it's doing a long exposure shot. And if I pull up the photo, you can see it's nice and noise free and really crisp. Another way to access night mode is just to go into night mode. And if I take the same shot, you can see once again, it does a long exposure, just like using AI scene enhancement. But night mode has a little trick up its sleeve. Up in the top left corner, you can see like a camera on a tripod. If you toggle that on, you're in tripod mode. This is where you can do a ridiculous long exposure for like stars or astrophotography. Let me show you that now. Okay, so I have my OnePlus 10 Pro on this tripod right here, and I have this really cool frame of like some beams and then the moon. And granted, this isn't gonna take a moon shot like the Galaxy S22 Ultra, but it is gonna give me an image free of noise because of the ridiculous long exposure that's about to happen. So let's go ahead and take this shot. All right, and you can see it's giving me a 31 second long exposure. Now I'm not gonna keep you waiting that long, but that is insane, that is so impressive and it's gonna give you a really cool shot. So here's that shot.
So that's night mode on the OnePlus 10 Pro. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with it and you can get really creative with these shots. Let me know what you think of the night mode on the OnePlus 10 Pro. But like I said, if you wanna get the most out of it, you need to get yourself a tripod. You don't have to get one this big, you can get like a little tabletop tripod. But if you wanna get that ridiculous long exposure, make sure to use one. So we're back to daytime me. And that was 10 camera tips and tricks for the OnePlus 10 Pro. Let me know in the comments section, did these tips and tricks help you? Did you already know about them all? I know that wasn't a lot, so if you wanna see more, let me know and I'll definitely do more camera videos on the OnePlus 10 Pro. For now, I have a Harold's hot dog. These things are delicious. This is a Carolina dog and I'm gonna eat it. So you guys gotta go. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos just like this and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. I gotta eat, so go on, shoot, get out of here.